Hey guys, how you doing? It's the Honeydew Carpenter. I am not in my shop today. I am out at Julie's uh, little homestead out at Dirt Patch Heaven. And I'm super excited. We're putting in a uh, raised garden bed for her. It's just a nice small raised garden bed out of the blocks that I cast out of a cob mixture of air cream. And so this ought to be a lot of fun and we'll see exactly how it's gonna work out. Guys, this has been a fun project. I've learned a lot. I've learned a lot about aircrete and how it behaves and all the different mixtures trying to get these blocks right. And so if you ever wanted to do a project with aircrete or you're excited about aircrete and wanna do something like build a building or something, I would suggest doing a project like this first just to get a feel for the product and how to do it because I my next big project is a shed that we're doing for the in-laws a 12 by 15 shed and it's going to be a wall panel system that I invented and I really think it's going to turn out great and I have got the mix down pat <laughs> I didn't have it figured out. <laughs> well, but I mean, that's why we're doing a project, right? Yeah, it More is. More than anything, it's just to figure out the hey. Well, you know, and it's like, that's why I told people, holy cow. <laughs> Guys, this is the kind of the reasoning behind the curved uh, pie piece in there. It allows you to lock them in together. And you can see how they're locking in now. And then when we go to put the next uh, row on, of course, it's going to just lock right in there, just like that. And, uh, Mom, Mom, Mom. <laughs> because these two rows are interlocked together, this row, when it gets a little pressure from the soil, it's, no it's not just going to push off and cave out.
Okay guys, so the first two courses we just turned upside down on each other and locked them in. The third course, which you can see the pie shape, will just fit right in there and lock in. On the corners, we had to turn two of the blocks backwards because as we turn the corner, they came in too, these would come in too close together to let the next one lock into it. So that's why those are out. But I don't think it takes away from it at all. It's still gonna be a great garden bed. I just wanted to catch one so the boys could pet it. Yes. You say you're putting that in before you put the perlite? Um, yeah, and then I'll just put in some perlite and mix it in. So, Julia has this down. She does. She knows exactly why she's putting the cardboard all around to hold the water in. So Until the root system is in, yeah. which is smart. Do you know that you moved your camera in front of my camera? <laughs> I'm sorry. That's funny. It's for my big excavator! Yeah. It's big excavator. Hey guys, we just finished putting in this raised garden bed and I learned a ton about gardening and this horticulture and everything that goes into putting in a bed like this. Julie is absolutely fabulous at that, but if you like what we're doing, 
give us a thumbs up, like, subscribe, uh, click the bell at the bottom for notifications. Make sure you check out our Etsy store. We have, you, that's where you can get everything you need to know about getting a foam made so that you can do projects like this for yourself.